Hey everyone, we're Drew and Katie Taylor with Catholic Link. Recently, I got sent to Las Vegas for a training trip and I woke up one morning to go work out. When I entered into the gym on the Air Force Base, at 5.59 in the morning, there were over 100 people that were in this gym. And I thought, if we're so willing to be able to train our bodies in the physical sense, why are we not so dedicated in training our spiritual lives? Matthew Kelly says our lives change when our habits change. And that is true about our physical bodies, but also about our souls. Yeah, we can have all the gifts and talents in the world, but without character, without good habits, no one's going to follow us. And ultimately, where we don't have the gifts and talents is our character that overcomes our shortcomings. And this character is virtue. And to be a leader, we have to be virtuous. The Catechism in paragraph 1803 states, a virtue is a habitual and firm disposition to do the good. It allows the person not only to perform good acts, but to give the best of himself. The virtuous person pursues the good and chooses it in concrete actions. The goal of a virtuous life is to become like God. These concrete actions, those are our habits. These are exactly what we have to cultivate in a positive way. Uh, St. John Bosco was known for saying that the mother of all vices is laziness. When we talked about virtues that were important to leadership, we talked about magnanimity, which is striving for excellence. It's in direct challenge of this temptation for sloth. Yeah, and mediocrity. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Kelly also says that decisions form our actions, actions form our habits, habits form our character, and character forms our destiny. And the middle of that, the cornerstone, is our habits. Habits are built off of really our priorities. And so I think we need to take a look at our own lives and really uh, be truthful about what are our priorities in life. When I read the Old Testament, I, I see the Israelites that were saved from slavery in Egypt and they were brought out of Egypt. But when they were in the desert, they start worshiping idols. And you look at that, you're like, that's ridiculous. That God parted the Red Sea for them why would you doubt him? Why would you, why would you not praise him? But then I take a look at my own life and I think about how much God has done for me and how many times I don't prioritize him in my own life. How many times do I spend more time on social media than I do praying? Yeah. When our priorities match our habits, we find balance and peace. Yeah. But when we spend the night before binging Netflix, we regret it. <laughs> We're exhausted. Yeah. And okay, so the devil won the night before, but he can easily win the next day and defeat us. Yeah. Our culture is plagued by this feeling of being torn into, trying to separate our faith from different parts of our lives, mm -hmm. faith from reason or our personal from our professional lives, from means, from ends, from mind and body, from our souls. All of this separation is not what we are called to be. We are called to be one and to have that oneness rooted in our why, our purpose of Christ. Because Christ is who gives us the endurance because I fall flat when I try to do it all myself. I make myself an idol. I'm also tempted to make my kids, even my spouse, an idol. To be a disciple of Christ, to be a leader, a Christian leader, we have to have the habit of prayer. We have to have a relationship, an open conversation with God. We need to long to want to spend 
all day with him, yeah. every moment, to retrain our souls. Consistency is the key. Consistency to desiring growth, transformation, and conversion for ourselves and others. Yeah. So, as you guys are thinking about today, the, the habits that, that you've built, think about what your priorities are and, and if your habits really match your priorities. You know, I think about those, those people that were working out at the gym at 6 a.m. and just getting jacked. Like, we need to be training ourselves so that we can be spiritual powerhouses for Christ. We're praying for you guys. God bless. God bless. God bless.